I'm making me some tea because your girl woke up the other day with like a scratchy throat and I'm trying to get rid of it. Have my hauls, have my IV because maybe I'm just dehydrated and that's where my scratchy throat is from. I don't know. I have a couple things to do today. I need to donate some materials, some materials, donate some stuff, post some more pictures on Facebook market to be sold and try to at least pack up a room today. Nick and I went apartment shopping yesterday. Well, we went last week as well, and then we went this week. And then I think we're pretty set on the one that we're gonna apply for. There was two contenders out of all the apartments that we looked at. Well, technically there's three, but then one is just out of our budget after like amenities and fees and everything is just out of our budget. And so we sit on two. One, great amenities, great bang for your buck. You get two months free rent. And so that really helps out a lot. But it's, it's in a very high traffic area. <laughs> and then the second area, the amenities are there. The location is very, very, very nice. We have a Whole Foods across from us that we could just walk to. Very, very nice, great area. But the apartment itself, it's doable, it's livable, but I don't think it's the best thing for our buck given that it's a little bit more expensive. I mean, I guess you're paying for the area and you're not paying for the apartment itself. And Nick and I contemplate it because the apartment with a nice area, it'll fit our couch, it'll fit our dining room. But like the amenities, like the gym and the pool that we're paying for is not as kept up as we would like. And the trash that we will be paying for is not even valet compared to the first one that I mentioned. Everything is up to date. The washer and dryer is like brand new. The building was just built in 2021. So everything is very modern and new. So Nick and I went back and forth and I think it came down to what was our long-term goal and our long-term goal is to save as much money as we can so that we could buy a house. So with that, we are going with the newer facilities but in the busier location just because we get that two month free rent so that will help out a lot with us saving money and plus the amenities and the appliances and everything is brand new. But that does mean that we're going to have to sell the dining table. And Nick and I have not decided what to do with the couch yet. We thought about selling the couch, but then I was like, I don't mind selling the couch. But if we, sorry, my water is boiling. So I don't mind selling the couch, but if we're just going to stay at the apartment for a year or two and then buy a house and then we're going to have to furnish the house, it doesn't make sense to sell the couch and buy a whole new couch because that was an expensive couch. It's very good quality. And to be honest, if I was to buy another house, that would probably be the same couch that I buy. <laughs> it's very comfortable as well. And so we're just, I don't know, still thinking of like, how are we gonna stuff it into the apartment? Cause you know, apartment living, the living space is very small. I think it's a 10 by 12 and our couch is at 11 by 11, so I'm still trying to figure out how it's going to work out or if we have to put it in storage and how much that's going to cost us or we might throw it at my parents' house or Nick's parents' house for, I don't know, the next couple of months. But then again, we don't know how long we're going to live in the apartment. We say a year, but honestly, it might be two years. Um... So yeah, I don't really know what we're doing with that, but I'm totally fine with selling the dining sets. I like it. I really do like the dining set. I think it's super flattering, super cute, but I do want, okay, that's all my honey. I want to transition to a warmer, warm, warmer, warmer tone furnitures and start building that and collecting that. So that's the plan. I have to clean it up and post it up. Alrighty, I just took my pictures and posted on Facebook. It is pet free home, kids free home, and smoke free home. So I think that's a steal to be honest. Um, getting a little bit more awake here. If we don't get it sold, I'm gonna try to have it stored at my mama's house because they just built a whole new two door garage. So maybe I can store it over there. Let's.
Should I call her and ask? I mean, Nick's parents offer to store at their place, but I mean, my parents just have a little bit more room, and I hate to take up all their storage space at Nick's parents' house when they have a full house and my parents are empty nesters. I don't think she's gonna pick up. Go to Chi. Go to Chi. Go to Chi. I'm not cheeky. That's funny. Go to your cheeky. Go to your cheeky. Go to your cheeky. Really, mother? Go to me. Go to me. Go to me. No. Go to ก็จะตัวเนี้ยเราจะฟงไปเอาตัวนี้จะจ้างนะอุตส่าห์เป็นเชียร์อันเช็ดดีเนาะโอ้ไม่เกินอ่ะจ้าไอ้ก็ไอ
Um, but yeah, <laughs> that is the update on today. Nick took my donations out for me so I didn't have to go and do it. With all that being said, I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I don't think this was a super interesting one at all. But thank you all for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!